G'day. Well, we're going to do some leg training, but I'll do these all separate videos so it doesn't go too long. So I've got to rush out, but I'll just quickly do leg extensions. Now, leg extensions are probably one of the worst exercises. Oh, by the way, it's hot out here. All you people in America going into winter, it's like 90 something degrees here Fahrenheit, which is probably in the 30s, is it? Celsius, but fucking humid under a tin roof. What I was saying was leg extensions, I hate. Yeah, leg press, you get a good pump, put lots of weight on, they burn. Squatting too, takes your breath away. You gotta exert all that energy, they're hard and your legs burn, but nothing like extensions. If you do extensions properly, I think they're probably one of the worst. It feels like someone's got a hot knife and they're just dragging it up your quad, cutting into your fibers. And then you get off the machine. I'm sure you've all done it. You can't get your legs out quick enough. And when you get off, you just walk in circles like fuck, 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 fuck. Well, sometimes when it hurts that bad, you can't even say fuck. You just go. Mm, mm, mm. And then your training partner is talking to you. And in that much pain, you can't even compute what they're saying because it just fucking hurts. Leg extensions. Like I said, you can go heavy on them, but really, it's just like the contraction and squeezing. If I was on a leg extension, I don't have any weight on it, but, you know, the main thing is when you bring it up, squeeze. You know, some people do this and they throw it and rock and they hold here. Yes, hold on good, but when you bring it up, squeeze, then let it down. Squeeze, like give them a good flex and then down. And sometimes I don't even count the reps. I just go by how I feel when they're burning and you get that real bad burn, you push out a few more. And then even if you get to the point where, you know, I trained with legs with Tom, so would get to the point where you couldn't even move it anymore. Now there's some we used to be able to lay down. I used to lay down and we used to have a belt that would go around us. And all you could do was your legs like that. You'd be laying flat on your back. You can still do it now if you want. Put a towel there, have your training partner, maybe just push on your hips. You don't need to go heavy because when you're laying down, it's just all quads like that. Because, you know, you're sitting up. Yes, you're sitting up, it's all quads, but sometimes you can pull and that sort of thing. But when you're laying down, you can't do any of that. It's just all your quads. So the main thing is to get that good contraction up and down. Now, they're good to begin with. I like to do them first now to really get the blood in there, warm the knees up and stuff. And then sometimes at the end, just finish on to really pump them out. Do them two legs or do one leg at a time. And everyone says, oh, one leg's bigger than the other. Then this is a good exercise where you can give that leg a bit extra. You can spot yourself if you get stuck. Ah, just pull it up like that. If you've got your training partner, what Tom and I used to do was, let's just say your training partner is on the leg extension, right? They're here and they're doing them and they're bringing it up like this. This is where their feet are. When they can't do anymore, what you do is you grab their heels and lift it up. Your training partner holds it, you let go and they let it go down slowly. So then you lift them up, they squeeze, you let go of their feet, and then they release it slowly. And you do that to the point where they can't bring it up anymore. And then what you do then is, once you've given them a few forced ones like that, you help them up, they lower it down. Grab their ankles, lift it up, make sure they contract, let them go, they lower it down. Now, when they're screaming and yelling and cursing you, what you do then is you'll have to grab their feet and lift it up because their legs will be fucked. Then what you do is you lift it up. You lift it there. You tell them, hold it. Now, you let go of their ankles. They've got to hold it. Generally, it'll go down a little bit. But then you put your hand on top and you start pushing down. Not hard. Don't go Ooh, like that because their legs are already fried. Their legs are burning. So as they're sitting there holding it, you start pushing down. But as you push down slightly, they have to resist up against you. So you're pushing down, they're pushing up. So you've got that tension, just slowly push down. You'll be pushing down like that and they're pushing up. So you're like fighting with each other, but keep it moving. Don't go to the point where you're just stagnant and you can't move and they're pushing up, you're pushing down. As long as they push up, they give tension, but you keep pushing it down, pushing it down, pushing it down, get to the bottom. They take a breath, grab their ankles, Lift it back up, you let go of their feet, tell them to hold it, and then you push down. Push down, and by this point, trust me, they're gonna be in that much pain, they wanna punch you in the fucking head. So like I said, if I was sitting on here, somebody would be pulling my ankles up, and then I take it down slow. But then, when I can't do that anymore, they lift it up, they'll be pushing down on here. 
And as they push here, I'm like kicking up to resist. But even though you're resisting, you keep it moving down. So you've got that constant tension all the way down. And we used to do like seven sets like this. And trust me, by the end of it, I was ready to go home. Like my legs were that pumped with blood. I'd sometimes do seven to 10 sets. And I had many people start vomiting just from doing leg extension. So this is the way Tom Platts had me do them. So I'm showing you how to do them. Trust me, that's really gonna get you. So give it a go. Let me know what you think. Do some more exercises, but this is one of the best ones to start on. And it really fries and kills your legs. People go, is that it? I'm like, no. Now we've got leg press, we've got squats, we've got hack squats. And they're like, oh my God, I've already been throwing up on leg extension. So give it a go, let me know what you think. And I'll show you the other exercises a bit later. Thank you.